Once again, good evening and welcome to EduSkill OED Made Easy. Our mission is to make you fall in love with OED. If you're watching this on YouTube, kindly consider subscribing to the channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like our work and please share the video to others so that we reach out to maximum OED aspirants, especially those who are financially struggling to crack OED. Now, EduSkills is a non-profit platform. We don't charge for any of our services and you can find the links of previous Zoom sessions in the description below. Reading subtests and various types of questions. So, reading part B and C will be good to the different types of questions. And normally, there is no difference as regards the strategies that you need to apply. Reading part B or C, it goes almost 95% same. Maybe a couple of questions you'll be taking. Type 1 is elimination, two opposites, one of them is right, absolute wrong. Uh, that you have learned in our elimination method session. Type two question based on details where we focus on the developing sentence. Type three, this type question focus on the topic sentence. And type four synonymous based to questions focus on the keyword or phrase. And contrast word based to question focus on what is said after the contrast word. And six, paraphrasing based to questions. There are other types as well, but we will not be able to deal all the questions together. First one is elimination. When there are two opposites out of three or four options, if there are two opposites, automatically the rest of the one or two will be eliminated. That's what we learned in our seven principles of el elimination, seven skills of elimination. Do you remember we have learned this earlier in the session? If you have not, if you are not familiar with it, please go to EduSkills OET YouTube channel and uh, see the video. Eliminate the absolute, eliminate the wrong ones, looking for precise language. Now we are concerned with this fourth one, straight opposites. When there are straight opposites in the answer, one of them is correct. And if you are a beginner, definitely you have to go into the detailed analysis and learning of the text and all the answer options. But you can definitely look into this aspect, then understand this particular method, how to approach the question, then you can go into the detailed analysis. Radical answers, incorrect, educated guess, and all those things we have. One, which of the following is not mentioned in the text? Some syringes can contain a mixture of two different medications. Needles must never be broken after administering medications. Two syringes of the same type cannot have different medications. Uh, you can unmute and uh, interact. Yes. Can you find any opposites here? Means yes. out of the options, which are the opposites? It's A and C. A and C. A and C. A and C are opposites, right? Yes. And here you have to know, learn, if you're beginners, definitely you have to focus on the synonymous language we used, some syringes, two syringes. Yes, can sir. contain, cannot okay. have. Yeah. Okay. Can contain, cannot have. Mixture of two different medications, different medications. So those are the synonyms or synonymous language being used. What is the conclusion? One of these must be the answer. So what happens? automatically the other one is eliminated. Other one is automatically eliminated. When there are four options in C, I will show you that later. Uh, two will be automatically eliminated. You, you have a 50% chance now. So some syringes can contain a mixture of two different uh, medications. Two syringes of the same type cannot have two different medications. So that you can understand, can contain, cannot have. So those are the opposites. Now what you have to do, you have to look into which is the right one among these two. Uh, we'll just listen to this and try to identify the answer, okay? By listening, you have practice for reading as well as listening now. A septic technique. A septic technique must be used when handling syringes and needles. The needle, the tip and hub, the inside of the barrel, and the plunger must be kept sterile at all times. Contamination of the plunger will contaminate the solution or medication as the plunger goes down the barrel. All syringes should be labeled with the name of the medication. If two or more syringes of the same type but containing different solutions or medications are being used, they must be clearly labeled to prevent confusion. If a needle is broken, it must be accounted for in its entirety. Bending, shearing, breaking, or recapping contaminated needles is strictly prohibited. Did you find the answer? Yes, father. Yes, that is it. Option A. There is a portion answer in the text. If two or more syringes are the same type. Yes. So you have the answer here. If two or more syringes of the same type, but containing different solutions or medications are being used, they must be clearly labeled to prevent confusion. That says some syringes can contain a mixture of two different medications. It's clearly given here. Again, you have one more strategy. This I'm just telling you about the elimination. Here, in fact, if you get into the competency, you need not read the passage at all. You can just go into that particular area 
and find where it speaks about uh, two stringers. Okay, I told you when there is uh, there are numbers, you have to focus on the numbers. Here there is two different medications. Two is the number, right? It is yeah. It is spelled out. So where you have to go, you have to search for two in the text. So immediately you have the answer there. One more strategy. Not one strategy, multiple strategies can be used. Whichever you are competent with, you can use them. One more strategy I told you is contrast, right? And there is a contrast yes, word, contrast. you can immediately launch there. Now you see both ranges of the same type containing different solutions. After the uh, contrast word, you have the answer here. Elimination is the method, but then you can cross verify, cross check with all these other strategies as well. Yes, Again, you have one more elimination here if you want to eliminate. What is that? This yeah. one? Never. Never absolute. is the absolute, Never. yeah. Absolute. absolute. Actually, you don't require it because that is being eliminated, automatically eliminated when other two are opposites. Otherwise, you can, as soon as you go through never, you can eliminate them. Then, you know, you have the options between two of them. So you can use any of these strategies. On each text, you can apply around three to four strategies. So if you are familiar with one or two, you are damn sure that is the answer. You can cross check. And other options, I think you need not go into detail now it is here if a needle is broken never be broken it says needles must never be broken but here it says if a needle is broken what is to be done so already it says it can be broken so it is never so absolute is there even otherwise you can go into the text and you can identify that hope that is clear yes, yeah <laughs> now i am taking another text from uh, part c randomly i took a, uh, a material and from that i have taken b and c now again, elimination to opposites, one of them is right. You know, there are four options here. So let's listen. What do we learn from the third paragraph? A sleeping less is not always harmful. B people in the US sleep more than required. C studies on sleep are becoming common. People sleep less than what is recommended. Previous studies have suggested that people who sleep less than five hours a night have a 15% greater risk of death from all causes than people of the same age who get a good night's sleep. In one survey of workers in Britain more than 5% claimed to sleep no more than 5 hours a night. Another survey published in the US in 2010 found that nearly 30% of people claimed to sleep no more than 6 hours a night. Any any suggestion? B, B and, and D are opposite. B, B and D. 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 B and one. D. Let's check B and D. Now people in the US sleep more than required. People sleep less than what is required, uh, recommended. So maybe they have your specifications, still they are opposites, right? People sleep more than required, people sleep less than required. So definitely, as you said, they are opposites. Yes, more than and less than. So what is the impact? Other two will be? Other two can be eliminated. Eliminated, automatically eliminated. So you have 50% uh, percent option here now. You need to struggle with those two options. This is the advantage of elimination method. Now out of these two, you have to identify the answer. How will you identify? Did you get while reading? Just listen, listen and read from the screen. Do it together, okay? Previous studies have suggested that people who sleep less than five hours a night have a 15% greater risk of death from all causes than people of the same age who get a good night's sleep. In one survey of workers in Britain, more than 5% claimed to sleep no more than five hours a night. Another survey published in the US in 2010 found that nearly 30% of people claimed to sleep no more than six hours a night. Answer D is correct. Right? And uh, D, yeah. Another survey published in the US in 2010 found that nearly 30% of people claim to sleep no more than six hours a night. No more than. Means what? Less. Uh, less, less, than, less than. Less than. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Less. And again, uh, if I claim to sleep, no more than. Means again? Less. Just to give you uh, the synonymous taste word. So this is gist. Ultimately, it's gist. But easy for, for easily you can add, eliminate two, then go with the two. No more than required and more than required. That's what they want to confuse you. Okay. Again, the negative meaning strategy can be applied here. PS in, uh, people in the US, another survey published in the US in 2010 found that nearly 30% of people claim to sleep no more than six hours a night means less they don't speak more again it is less so more than and no more than that's the difference father. yes, yes if there is any clarification you can ask me where are yes, we father. now you see people who sleep less than people who sleep here people sleep people who sleep that's so in the topic sentence if you can understand if you have the competency of language topic sentence itself gives you the answer or more than no more than five hours no more than six hours those are other clues. Again, elimination to opposites. One of them is right. Reading part C. Let's see one more example. Okay, let's listen. There are many health benefits of alcohol. B. The benefits of drinking red wine to prevent or treat heart disease is conclusive. C. 
the evidence that alcohol can prevent or treat heart disease is inconclusive d there is a safe level of drinking one or two standard drinks a day when it comes to cancer do you have any opposites here is b and c b and c yeah. inconclusive so conclusive and inconclusive inconclusive inconclusive, inconclusive. now uh, let's listen to this one but what about the heart health benefits of alcohol well the evidence is inconclusive and potentially flawed at present the cancer council says do you have the answer there yes, evidence is inconclusive yeah actually the, that's again one yeah. more strategy what is the strategy here topic sentence focus on the topic sentence topic as sentence. soon as you read the topic, topic sentence it clearly says the evidence is inconclusive so here you have already eliminated two options right with the elimination method that is when two are opposites other two are also eliminated. eliminated now you have to look only for conclusive evidence and inconclusive so in the very first sentence you have the answer the, well the evidence is inconclusive mm -hmm. after effects of benefits of alcohol regarding mm -hmm. the benefits of alcohol evidence is inconclusive that's how we beat the time that's how we beat the time there is no requirement actually what i told you if you know about the structure of the paragraph if the uh, topic sentence and the controlling idea speaks it is inconclusive you will never have the message conclusive in the same paragraph they might give different evidences different research uh, results everything but the message will be the evidence is inconclusive they cannot give a opposite message than the topic sentence what is given in the topic sentence in the paragraph so you need not read rest of the things that's how you can defeat the time let's see here okay opposite one is correct conclusive and inconclusive even otherwise here is a contrast a b and d are constant here a says many health benefits b says uh, there is evidence conclusive evidence it is beneficial c says there is a safe level of drinking a b and c options speaks uh, alcohol has benefits only c speaks as inconclusive no benefits it's not concluded and again you can use the you know but when there is but immediately the answer will happen there so the heart benefits the evidence is inconclusive again you see the expression same inconclusive synonymous language use advises against drinking there is no evidence to suggest about a safe level of drinking there is no evidence advises against drinking everything says evidence is inconclusive that's clear right yes father yeah yes, but then you can use addition uh, strategies as i told you you can name when there is a name immediately you have to identify the name in the paragraph what is the name cancer council cancer council yeah cancer council that is the name but there is one more name given there what is that national heart foundation national health yeah two opinions yeah. are there they will confuse you between that and also as i said contrast begins with the word but which says immediately there is an answer cancer council advises that first uh, a option many health benefits topic sentence says the evidence is an inconclusive b says the benefits of drinking red wine to prevent or treat heart disease is conclusive who advises actually there is one more option given as conclusive but it is advised by national heart foundation health foundation the evidence that alcohol can prevent or treat heart disease is inconclusive the topic sentence contains this answer there is a safe level of drinking but then the paragraph says there is no evidence options speaks of there is safe level of drinking one or two standard drinks a day when it comes to cancer but the paragraph says there is no evidence to suggest there is a safe level of drinking just listen once again and focus on those two different advices okay how they have used conclusive and inconclusive adding that the national heart foundation advises against drinking red wine or any type of alcohol to prevent or treat heart disease the message to consumers is that there is no evidence to suggest there is a safe level of drinking when it comes to cancer however given that the risk increases with amount the cancer council suggests that anyone who wants to drink should stick to the national health and medical research council guidelines no more than two standard drinks a day for healthy men and women a standard drink is usually described as the equivalent of 100 ml of wine or 285 ml of beer but it can vary depending on the alcohol content of the beverage now that is the answer for next question in the same material we have taken from another material this is not from the material that i have given you the next answer is here after however the next question has the answer from the same paragraph but however given that the risk increases with the amount the cancer council suggests at least you reduce the amount of drinking those who cannot but addicted they need must drink at least try to lessen your drinking quantity amount of uh, drinking you have to lessen that doesn't mean there is a safe level they are asking if you cannot give up you have to give up the whole first part first part of the paratext says 
you have to stop drinking. It's not at all beneficial. However, if cannot stop, at least reduce, calm down, bring down to no more than two standard drinks. Maximum you can drink is two standard drinks. That is just to tell you, there are other strategies which you can apply, but we are just focusing on certain types of questions. That doesn't mean you have to focus only on elimination or only on topic sentence or only on uh, opposites. Although, but then you can even cross check with other criteria. Yeah, now question based on detail. Now this type question, you have to focus on the topic sentence or we can also call it as topic based question. Let's see one example from part B. Just listen. The email is reminding staff that there have been breaches of confidence in the recent times. The need for care while transmitting confidential information. How to use the triple check method of using the fax machine. To all staff subject faxing confidential information. Please note the following. Take safety measures before faxing confidential information. A fax cover sheet should contain instruction that the faxed material is to be given only to the named recipient. Consent is needed from the client to fax information. Check that the fax number is correct, check the number on the display of the machine after dialing, and check a third time before pressing the send button. Follow up with the agency receiving the fax to assure that the private records are received and placed in a secure location as soon as the fax has been sent. Okay, I said this is gist based question, you have to focus on the topic sentence. Do you have the answer here? Topic sentence, this is the topic sentence, right? Compare between the options and this topic B sentence. B is the answer. Need for confidential care information. Transmitting confidential information. Yeah, the need for? Then the need for care, 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 care while information. Yeah. And uh, why this I am telling you? Because whatever comes next is the explanation of that topic sentence. Now they say take safety measures. What should what are the safety methods you should take? That's the only thing being explained in the rest of the text. First sentence, topic sentence says take safety measures before fixing uh, faxing confidential information. So the controlling idea is safety measures. <laughs> okay, as you said, you can see the need take safety measures before faxing confidential information. That is a topic sentence. The need for care while transmitting confidential information. And about breaches of confidence, there is no mention in the text. And you know how to use the triple check method of using the fax machine is the developing sentence or subsidiary information. So they are uh, checking whether you can understand the topic sentence, uh, the differentiate between topic sentence, the main idea, as well as the subsidiary auxiliary information given explanation or illustration given now you see here should check follow up check and you can, i'll just highlight for you see this is the take safety measures before faxing confidential information is the topic sentence immediately the question is when you say you have to take the safety measures the question is what are the safety measures to be taken before faxing confidential information the explanation the rest of the paragraph speaks about safety measure one safety measure two safety measure three Safety measure four, safety measure five. These are the safety measures you have to take. Let's check what are those safety measures. One is a fax cover sheet should contain instruction that the fax material is to be given only to the named recipient. Second safety measure, check that the fax number is correct. Third safety measure, check the number on the display of the machine after dialing. Fourth uh, safety measure, check a third time before pressing the send button. Fifth safety measure, Follow up with the agency receiving the fax to assure that the private records are received and placed in a secure location as soon as the fax has been sent. If you remember, I told you about the benefits of rice. So topic center speaks about the benefits of rice. Then ben benefit number one, benefit number two, benefit number three, the benefit number four. Or if it is speaking about a problem, solution number one, solution number two, solution number three, solution number four. Or if it is speaking about some effects, the causes or the reasons, number one, reason two, reason three, reason four. So there is a clear structure for the paragraph. When you have options, definitely have to look into the topic sentence. And for any purpose, any type of questions, to understand the paragraph structure is very important. So here, again, you listen with this uh, five safety measures in your mind. Let's listen to the same text again and find out how beautifully they have structured the text. Take safety measures before faxing confidential information. A fax cover sheet should contain instruction that the faxed material is to be given only to the named recipient. Consent is needed from the client to fax information. Check that the fax number is correct. Check the number on the display of the machine after dialing, and check a third time before pressing the send button. 
follow up with the agency receiving the fax to assure that the private records are received and placed in a secure location as soon as the fax has been sent. Do you understand? This whole paragraph speaks only about the safety measures. Yes, yes sir. The topic sentence is being explained. This is how you have to work out in the initial stages. It takes a little time, but definitely you will have that mental setup competency as soon as you see. Okay, so we were looking into which type of uh, question? This type. That was from part B. Now let's look into part C. This type question, focus on the topic sentence from part C. What I am trying to highlight is whether it is part B or C, ultimately the strategies are almost same. If you have the competency to analyze, understand, uh, the structure of the paragraph, you can easily tackle B and C. Okay, let's listen. Okay, again, we have to focus on the topic sentence. We'll just listen. 15. The writer uses the first paragraph to A. Encourage people to sleep more. B. Stress the importance of sleep. C. Give details about test results. Discuss how we deal with stress. Getting too little sleep for several nights in a row disrupts hundreds of genes that are essential for good health, including those linked to stress and lighting disease. Tests on people who slept less than six hours a night for a week revealed substantial changes in the activity of genes that govern the immune system, metabolism, sleep and wake cycles, and the body response to stress, suggesting that poor sleep could have a broad impact on long-term well-being. This is known as this type question. You have to focus on the topic sentence. What is the topic sentence? Getting to getting sleep to getting sleep more. for Several yeah. nights in a row. Getting uh, too little sleep for several yeah, nights in a low disrupts hundreds of genes that are essential for good health. So, yeah. what do you understand out of these sleep. four? This is importance of the importance sleep. of sleep. Yeah, importance, importance of sleep. sleep. Normally, you know, encourage the people to sleep more. Uh, you, normally, it doesn't happen. People don't ask you, so you, you go and sleep 24 hours. But normally, what they say, they will they will explain the importance or significance of sleeping sufficient hours. Even at the end, you have suggesting that conclusion. Poor sleep could have, Poor sleep could have a broad on impact on long term well-being, well -being, which means sleep is important. The first yes. sentence is, topic sentence is, sleep is important. And the concluding sentence is, sleep is important. And tests on people who slept less than six hours a night for a week revealed substantial changes in the activity of genes that govern the immune system, metabolism, sleep, and wake cycles, and the body response to stress, all these things. So that is an example giving. Again, that is being explained in this paragraph. Encourage people to give details about test results. They don't give any details about test results here, right? No details. Discuss how we deal with stress. Stress is given as a illustration or developing sentence. Yeah. So that cannot be the answer. Now you see, this is the paragraph structure we learned in the beginning stage. The importance of sleep, important sleep. Both the sentences, first sentence as well as the concluding sentence speaks about the importance of sleep. So this is the type of type two paragraph. See here, encourage people to sleep more. Sleep too little, radical. Sleep more and sleep too little is radical. Here you say sleep too little. And here it says sleep more. That's the importance of give details about test results, subsidiary information. Discuss how to deal with stress, body response to stress. That is subsidiary information. That's what I said, developing sentence. Hope that is clear. This is the one which you will find a bit challenging, most of you, unless you practice well. Now again, yes, you sorry. see, we are going into this type question from B. Of Two, which of the following can be understood from the text? Face masks may be worn only when instructed by a nurse of a member of the infection control team. It is necessary for all hospital staff and visitors to follow additional infection prevention precautions before entering the hospital premises wearing face mask might not be required at all times. Infection prevention and control each year, an excess of £1 billion is spent by NHS on healthcare associated infection. This is an infection that was neither present nor incubating at the time of contact with the healthcare facility. All staff have a duty to protect patients from harm and ensure colleagues. Patients and visitors take infection prevention seriously. It is necessary to apply standard precautions of infection at all times. Additional precautions may be required in certain circumstance, and these will be advised by a nurse in charge or a member of the infection control team. For instance, certain conditions may require a face mask to be worn. Just do you have to understand almost the whole text here? Do you have any idea from this reading or last, listening? The last sentence. The para last sentence. Para last sentences, for instance, certain conditions may require face mask to be worn. C's answer. Where wearing face masks might not be required at all times. This is the negative way of giving the same thing, right? 
certain conditions may require a face mask to be worn certain wearing mask face mask might not be and again you have here might not be might what is that might and may what is it model work model work yeah model. that's a, that's one additional additional clue i will be explaining again that one but since you identified it let's go with that so you see may and might and the first one can be eliminated for what reason again elimination method i have included absolute. another a and b absolute one absolute no, if, only. absolute only when instructed all hospitals all and hospital. all visitors okay absolutes one more one more one more criteria can be used all visitors and that can be that is absolute all and only, only. when oh. but then one more option is there one more criteria among seven principles of elimination one more thing happens in the first option just see here where this this sentence given here additional precautions may be required in certain and there will be these will be advised by a nurse in charge or a member here what is it said yes, when instructed by a nurse of the of the see the grammatically incorrect answer should be eliminated See here it is of here it is or or yeah see grammatical mistake uh, by here it says instruction can be advice can be by a nurse or any member of the infection control team but the first option says face mask may be worn face mask may be worn only when instructed by a nurse of a member of the infection control team maybe in the infection control team there are doctors there are nurses there are other health professionals but the first option says only a nurse can instruct or advise whereas the text says a nurse or any other member of the infection control can advise did you get that yes sir yes, or father. is not same as of of means only one person or means any member of the means any member of the uh, infection control team can instruct or advise that is a text message but the option says only a nurse from the team can advise grammatically not right even other absolute so many criteria you have once you are competent only thing you should not rush when you practice you have to enjoy all these things and once you gain your competence you know as soon as you look at the things as you said now the absolute is there other one is there so you can cross check with the various uh, if you have a doubt just tick and skip and go okay always i tell the people you don't require 500 full marks right 450 is sufficient for you right so why don't you give up three or four questions just skip and go even if you skip 10 out of 42 you have done with 32 then you have enough time to come back and answer again you can skip five out of 10 so you have done 37 now out of 37 definitely you will get 32 or 33 or 34 but then again five are there you can eliminate use other methods with the rest of the time and definitely you will get two or three over there which means you have 450 so don't worry don't worry to skip and give up two or three questions if you are not very particular you should get out of out 500 so here i said nurse of versus nurse or that proposition is used and it is necessary for all hospital staff here must it is necessary means must again one more strategy i am telling you b absolute is there other things are there you can it is necessary but here it says additional precaution may be required in certain circumstances where is it Addition, yeah, additional yeah additional precautions may be may be means not it is necessary necessary means must it is necessary means mandatory so here it says may be an opinion suggestion here it is mandatory must and may must versus may so model verb again you can see i have included that into a separate category grammatically incorrect a sentence you see in our seven principles seven skills of elimination we have seen look for precise language under that what happens you have to look for precise language grammatically incorrect options should be eliminated and that's how we eliminate this one first one is see or and of that is clear again you have negative meaning based questions same paragraph you can use for even negative meaning based questions we don't need to go into that wearing face mask might not be required at all times is the negative expression of certain conditions may require a face mask to be worn negative way of expressing the positive sentence affirmative sentence is given in 
negative statements. Yes, father. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. father. This, yes, father. Is, this is a developing sentence, you know, developing sentence. Where at the end you have, for instance, further, in addition, those expressions, after that you will have the answer. You can sequential expressions also can be a strategy here. So you have to write down these expressions if you don't understand. This C option you have to write down. Further, in, for, for instance, certain conditions may require a face mask. This one also you have to write down. Then you have to understand how it is expressed. When next time you have the same type of expressions, you have to compare them with this. Okay, cool. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.